Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the pastor's study at Lakewood Presbyterian Church. I hope you're having a good week and enjoying uh, the nicer weather that we've been having. Uh, ordinarily, this would have been the weekend when we say a big thank you to all of, to all of you who helped uh, with our Sunday School Faith Formation Program here at the church. Uh, so uh, I just want to say thank you for all of your wonderful service uh, throughout this last uh, church program year. Thank you for all you did. And for all of you parents who, who got your kids to church and for all of you adults who so faithfully attended Adult Faith Formation, thank you uh, for your commitment to deepen your faith and to support the church. So it was a, a pleasure to be a part of that. A big shout out to Aaliyah Kennedy, our Director of Faith Formation, and to Jan Soder, who chairs uh, the Faith Formation Committee. Uh, everyone did a great job. We had a great year that sort of got uh, hijacked uh, by the pandemic, and yet we kept going. Uh, you might want to uh, jump online and take a, a quick look at Aaliyah's videos on icon iconography. Really fascinating stuff, so take a look there. And at this point, um, I'm planning to try to do a, a midsummer Bible study. So we'll say more about that as we get that developed. It is Pentecost Sunday this weekend, and a lot of people, um, you know, we wonder a lot about the Spirit and how do we know when the Spirit is, a, is at work and how do we know for sure the Spirit is really in us and with us and all that sort of thing. And the same question, I think, was being asked by the early questions, or the early Christians of Paul. And so in his letter to the church at Ephesus, he said, well, one way you'll know is by what's coming out of you, what he called the fruit of the Spirit. If the Spirit is in you, uh, a fruit should come forth. And he said this in the fifth chapter of, of Galatians, I'm sorry, the book of Galatians. He said, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I think we can know that the Spirit is, is working in us, or maybe the better way to say that is we, we are allowing and, and giving the Holy Spirit full sway when those fruits are beginning to emerge out of our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, I've really never known a person who, who had the Spirit who wasn't generous to the best of their ability. Gentleness and self-control, all those fruits, I think, are so, so much needed right now uh, during, during times like these, when people are becoming impatient, uh, when we need people to be generous, when we need people to be kind and gentle and controlling some of those more negative human emotions that we all feel when when things are difficult. So how do we how do we encourage and, and help the fruit of the Spirit in our lives by yielding uh, to the Spirit and asking the Holy Spirit to use us and helping us uh, to practice those sorts of gifts and let that that fruit just come forward. So I wish you God's best for the rest of this week. I I uh, urge you to uh, tune in on Sunday and worship with us by way of our online ministry and always be enjoying our Faith Formation videos and Ruth's uh, music blogs, all of which is a way for us to stay connected. And also, we're going to be having another uh, Zoom online coffee hour this Sunday. This Sunday, we're going to try using breakout groups. So as you come in on the Zoom link, and you can get that by way of our, our weekly email blast, um, you'll be divvied up into smaller groups, I think four or five people, and it really facilitates more intimate conversation. So I hope that you'll participate in this Sunday's uh, online coffee hour. That's going to begin at 11 o'clock, and Ted, uh, Ted Rose and Laura Vendale will be the hosts. So God bless you, and we'll see you soon.